Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a phenomenon that affects both drivers and pilots alike. Hydroplaning. What is it exactly, and why can it turn deadly in a split second? Let's find out. Imagine this, you're driving on the highway, or maybe you're in the cockpit of a plane during a downpour. Suddenly, you feel your vehicle lose traction. That, my friends, is hydroplaning. When water causes your tires or aircraft's wheels to lose contact with the ground, leading to a loss of control. So, how does it happen? It all boils down to water pressure. When your vehicle moves too fast over a wet surface, water builds up under the tires faster than it can be pushed aside. This forms a thin yet powerful layer of water between your tires and the road or runway, essentially lifting you slightly off the ground. And just like that, you're skating on water, not gripping the road. On the road, hydroplaning can happen with just a twelfth of an inch of water and speeds as low as 35 miles per hour. Yes, just 35 miles per hour. And for aircraft, this can occur during landing or takeoff if the runway is slick. Either situation can quickly turn hazardous, leading to potentially fatal accidents. What can you do to prevent this slippery predicament? First, slow down during rainy conditions. It sounds simple, but it's effective. Remember, the faster you go, the harder it is for your tires to displace that water. For drivers, keeping your tires properly inflated and ensuring they have good tread can make a world of difference. And for pilots, knowing the conditions of the runway and using appropriate landing techniques are key. They must update latest runway surface condition from tower controller which is measured precisely by airport authority with a machine during rainy condition. Hydroplaning doesn't discriminate by vehicle type. It's a physics problem. Understanding it and respecting the conditions that lead to it can save lives. Next time it's pouring, whether you're behind the wheel or in the cockpit, take it slow. Safety first, always. That's a wrap on today's topic. Stay curious, stay safe, and remember, the more you know, the better equipped you are to handle whatever comes your way. Thanks for tuning in.